today everyone, I will discuss the cultural relativism of Thailand. Thailand is often called the land of smiles not only because visitors love its natural beauty and historical riches, but also because of the country's friendly people and fascinating culture. These are my topics for today's discussion. Language, middleway communication styles, food, food cultural practices, family, etiquette, unique religion and rife superstitions, and the land of festivals and celebrations. Let's talk about language first. So part of Thai culture is the language. Their official language is Thai, which is taught at schools and spoken throughout the country. Thai is spoken by approximately 70 million people in Thailand and other countries such as Cambodia, Malaysia, Myanmar, and Laos. These are some of the basic Thai phrases. In English, hello. In Thai, sawadi. How are you? Sabay day mai. I'm fine. Sabay di. I'm not well. My sabay. I come from the Philippines. For men, pum. For women, chan. Majak Philippines. What country are you from? Kunmak chak pritit arai. Thank you, Kabkun. To make it more respectful, they add ka for women and krap for men. For example, I will say thank you, Kabkun ka. So when we say sorry, kurtot, kurtot na ka. No problem. My benray. Goodbye. Bye. Can you speak in English? Kun pod pasa ang grit tay mai. What's your name? Kun chuarai. So when you introduce yourself, saying your name, it will say, my name is, so, Pung Chan for men, and Chan Chu for women. So, Di Chan Chu Crystal and Parkon Ka. Now let us talk about the middle way communication styles of Thailand. So Thais frequently communicate in an indirect manner especially when discussing sensitive topics or problems. So Thai people frequently use the words maybe or some people to soften their statements. Iben Rai, which loosely translates as no worries, no problem, is a common Thai phrase you will hear many times from the Thai people. So this is used to avoid any need to display anger or confrontation and maintains face for all involved. So technically, my benray translates as it's nothing. Or the truer definitions could be never mind, it's cool, don't get mad, get glad, take it easy, no worries, Oh well, I can do anything about it. If you say thank you in Thai language to a Thai person, they are likely to respond with a mai benray. Mai benray. Now, let us talk about the food in Thailand. The combination of sour, sweet, salty, bitter, and spicy flavors create a sumptuous mix that has become one of the world's most popular cuisines. So, I have here some food cultural practices in Thailand. So first, Thai people eat with a spoon and fork for most meals and sometimes with hands or chopsticks for dishes from India or China respectively. So, licking fingers is sometimes considered offensive in Thailand. If you find a specific food as delicious, you'll have to lick your finger and say, it's finger licking good. But in Thailand, it is considered as offensive. So as part of the Thailand traditional meal, you'll be served rice with numerous other dishes simultaneously, and the different dishes will be shared by all. So everyone in the table will share all of the dishes that are served, for example, in a restaurant. Now let us talk about family. Family is important in Thailand. Family almost always comes first. It is common in many Thai families for several generations to live together. So I have here P for someone older and Nong 
for someone younger. So for example, if I will be talking to someone who is older than me, I will say P and then his or her name. For example, look is older than me. So I will say P look. P look. So if ever I will be talking to Noel who is younger than me, I will say no Noel. Also, it's normal for extended families to live close to each other. And even if thighs move away for work, they maintain strong links with their home villages. Thai family culture really shows how strong their relationship is. Now let us talk about etiquette. So how one sits, walks, or otherwise interacts with others is based on the status of each person present. So for example, it is considered offensive to sit on a chair with one's legs crossed especially in the presence of an elder. Next, it is generally forbidden for Buddhist monks to come into physical contact with women. If a woman needs to pass something to a monk, it is best to give it to a male to then pass forward or hold the object with a handkerchief or tissue. Next, always bow your head as a sign of respect. Avoid speaking loudly or raising one's voice. The right hand is used to pass or receive items. Sometimes both hands are used but it is taboo to use only one's left hand. Pointing to another person with one's index finger or feet is considered rude. Now let us talk about Thailand's religion. Theravada Buddhism is the main religion in Thailand and remains a strong element in Thai religion and culture that draws on influences from Hinduism and animism. So, the second major religion in Thailand is Islam. And lastly, Christianity, which is said to be less than 1% of the Thailand's population. So, Satu the Buddhist equivalent of Amen. So when someone will pray in Thailand, they will say, Satu, Satu. Thai people believe in reincarnation. Theravada Buddhism is built on the philosophy of perpetual reincarnation. Life is a cycle and only enlightened beings can break the cycle and free themselves from entering into the blissful state of Nirvana. So lastly, Let's talk about festivals and celebrations. Thailand is famous for festivals and celebrations that strongly reflect Thai cultural and traditional values. Some famous Thai festivals and celebrations are Chakri Day, Chula Longkon Day, the Queen's Birthday, the Current King's Birthday, Coronation Day, the Royal Plowing Ceremony, Songkran, the Water Festival, Visaka Bucha, Buddha's birthday, Karathong or Festival of Lights, Mangha Puja, Yeping Festival, and many more. So just like us Filipinos, Thais also are very festive. If their water festival is called Songkran, here in the Philippines, it is San Juan or Basaan Festival. So as a conclusion, understanding cultural diversity will make us future educators to be culturally literate individuals so that we will be able to pass our knowledge to our future students about the different cultural relativism not just of Thailand, not just of the Philippines, but also of the entire world. Thank you for listening. Kukuna ka!